brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. We're gonna we're gonna start a segment called Pick a Side, and Pick a Side segment means that we're gonna talk to a couple. We have Mark and Samantha on the line, and they are kind of in a disagreement of what to do about a situation. And so they're each going to have time to lay out their case, present it to us, Jade. The referees. And then you and I are gonna decide, next segment, who's right? Whose side do we think, yeah, that's I a, got that's my a pen better and paper case. ready. We cannot Take notes. wait. Okay, so to start us off here with the pick a side segment, we have Mark and Samantha from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Hey, Mark and Samantha, thanks for joining us. Afternoon, ladies. How are you? We're doing Hi, great. We are so excited about this. I'm so glad you're both here because we can really yeah, well, get the story. Yeah, we're 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 still in negotiations. We just need a you know impartial <laughs> third party to kind of lean us in one way or the other. I love it so much. Okay, let's hear it. Who wants to go first? Well, I'll, I'll lay everything out uh, okay. for for us. So uh, here's the situation. Uh, my wife and I recently built a new home. Um, so we've been in it for a couple months now. And we're starting to receive estimates to build a patio in our backyard. You know, stone, nice uh, pagoda, things of that nature. Yeah. Now, uh, we're, we received the estimate of $50,000. We have a CD that's due to mature uh, in July, and it should be roughly about $27,000. Now, currently, we pay an additional $1,000 on, on the principal for our mortgage every month. So... We're wondering, do we take that extra principal payment and save for roughly 18 to 20 months, use that CD to pay cash for the patio, or do we use that CD, put down, uh, put that on the mortgage to pay the mortgage off faster? Okay. How much do you guys have left on the mortgage? We have 109. $109,000 mm-hmm. left on mm-hmm. the mortgage. And how much do you guys make a year? Roughly 70. 70,000. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. How much did you say the extra mortgage payment was that you're making every month? We're making uh, on the principal $1,000. Okay. $1,000 extra every month. Okay. Um, and any other debt? Nope. nope. We're on four, five, and six. Okay. That's great. Um, all right. So who wants to do the patio? Who doesn't? Oh, I want to do the patio. Okay. Um, mainly, mainly my reason behind it is. Uh, we recently lost a couple of friends uh, here recently that are our age mm. and uh, don't want to put off for tomorrow and not enjoy today. Mm. So, you know, since I'm not willing to go into debt for this, uh, and that's an absolute no, 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 that's a 34 letter word in our house. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, we, you know, can, can cash flow it, you know, save, you know, roughly about two years, cash flow it and enjoy the time uh, we have um, with friends and family entertaining because that's what we built the house for us to entertain. Yeah. Uh, everyone and it sounds like but, you saved a lot of money for it because you said it's a new build you've only been in it for a couple of months but you only owe 109 on it well there's there's a little, little caveat to that. actually my wife and i lost our house in a fire so we were able oh to gosh. rebuild i see rebuild wow. the, the house uh without taking on any additional debt and uh keep the same mortgage which we have Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, that's something Sheesh. and did you say mark you're gonna save for two years in order to pay for the patio or would you use the CD Correct. when it yes. comes to maturity? Well, we, it, would, it would be save, save for the two years. Plus with the added CD, we should be able to cash flow it. Okay. How much is the patio? Roughly about 50. 50,000. Okay. For the patio. Oh, I'm sorry. And the mm-hmm. CD is the 27,000. 27. 20, correct. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My notes, I had them flipped. So okay. it take you, it take you roughly a year to get the patio in two years to pay off the mortgage. No, it takes about or. two years. Well, yeah, yeah, roughly uh, on my calculations using your guys' cal- payoff calendar, um, if we just put the CD on the mortgage as well as our extra payment, we'd uh, it'd be paid for in roughly in September of 27, so a little little bit longer than that. Okay, okay. September of 27. About three years. Okay, so Samantha, we've heard from yeah. Mark in his, uh, yeah, his uh, scenario. <laughs> so what makes you, Samantha, not want to do the patio and just want to go ahead and pay off the mortgage? Well, I keep reminding him how Dr. John says how good your body feels once you have no debt. And I keep telling him, think how much we will enjoy this patio once we truly own this house. It's clear and free. Then we can sit outside and enjoy it. Um, 
so that's that's basically my angle. I don't want to have any debt. And, um, you know, I, I think both scenarios are good, but I really, really want to pay off the mortgage. Not this way, you ladies, anyway. <laughs> can, can I ask a question? Since you guys yeah. have paid off your debt and saved up your money, tell me something fun that you've done as a result of basically being in baby step six. We just got back from a cruise about two weeks ago that we mm. cash flowed. Mm. Okay. So you feel like you feel like you guys are living, you're taking regular vacations. Is that fair? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. You both agree with that. So it's not like we're stif we're not stifling ourselves, right? No, we're working working our butts off, but uh no, we're not we're not struggling by any means. Also having fun. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take that into my notes, into my consideration. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, one more clarifying question. If you threw everything at the mortgage, you'd have it paid off, you said, Mark, in about two and a half years-ish? About three. Three, three years. Three and a half. Three, three and yeah, a half three, years. Three, okay. About three years, yeah. But then two years for the patio. Correct. Okay. So in a, you know, in just a perfect world, in five and a half years, you could, both are going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter right. of which one goes first. Correct. Correct. Okay. That's great. Interesting. Uh, okay. Um, another question about the patio. Is it yes. in phases? Is there some part of it that you can have now and save another part for later? Like, mm -hmm. does that yeah, make sense? My only yeah, my only reservation with that is that it's always going to get more expensive. So that 50000 then turns into fifty five into 60000 if we wait. But yes, it, it could. But I don't think the original estimate will remain the same. Oh, you're going saying just in, because you know, of inflation and price of goods and just things going up over time. And okay. labor, things things of that nature. It's It will get more expensive. I, I'm almost guaranteed of that. As it goes, yeah. And what does the patio yeah. include? Be clear. Is it like outdoor kitchen and fireplace? Like, tell uh, me more about it. Yeah, so it's uh, you know all, a bunch of stonework, some uh, raised planters. We have a we're gonna pipe a propane line in for a nice seated area with a propane uh, fire pit. Okay. Um, as well as a um, pergola, so we have a nice seated area to to eat and you know once again just a nice outdoor yeah, entertainment. Yeah. What That's is it right now? Not the whole. What is it right now? It is grass and gravel. Grass and gravel. <laughs> all right, all right. I've got enough to take my notes. Okay. Okay, we both have one follow-up question. I have one final question, and Rachel does too. So, Mark, this patio, yes. realistically, because you guys live in Pennsylvania, realistically, how many months out of the year do you think that you'll get realistic use out of this? We should get uh, a good seven to eight months a year out of it. Really? Okay. Okay. Samantha, my question's for you. On a scale yeah. from one to ten, ten being I am obsessed with patios, one being, I hate being outside and I never will use it. <laughs> no where, matter what. <laughs> where are you on the scale of the patio of your excitement and your use and where you want to put $50,000? Well, if we pay $50,000, you definitely should believe I will be using it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, but for real though, do you, do you want it though? Like, do you, would you be excited about having it and hosting out there? Like, is that part of your value and dream and like, oh my gosh, how great that would be? Uh, long term, yes. Long okay. term, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So you you are excited, okay? Because I didn't want to make this decision, and then Samantha, you feel like, oh my gosh, we're spending all this money on something that I don't even care to sure use, about. right? Yeah. So yeah. So I wanted to make sure that you at least would be excited for the patio. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, let's say our answer on the count of three. What are we gonna say? Patio, patio or, mor or mortgage? Or mortgage? Okay. Ready? <laughs> yes. Count it down. <laughs> three. Two, one, patio. Oh! <laughs> were, you ex were you surprised? Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised. Did we blow your mind? Too. Yeah, they're both yes. like, it's the opposite of what we thought. <laughs> okay. Patio, well, let's tell them why. Okay, yeah, I'll give, I, yeah, Jade, you give your reasons, I'll give mine. And Samantha, I just want to give you a hug right now. I'm sorry, we went against you. <laughs> I know, I, I feel bad. Know, woman Girl to woman. Code. I know. <laughs> My reason would just be because you guys have done such a great job. And we say all the time, you know, baby step four, five, and six is really about intentionality. It's not about having to be intense. And I, I, I kind of, what Mark said, you know, you guys, you endured a fire, you've endured some loss. And I do think there is something to be said for making sure that you're enjoying the fruit of your labor. And um, 
I think that you guys would truly enjoy this. And at the end of the day, five years is going to pass. Both of these things are going to be done. It doesn't throw you off course. It doesn't take anything away. So that's my... Yep. For those reasons, I'm in. Okay. (laughs) Yep. And I would say, yeah, the timeline is really important. So if you guys said that you had, gosh, you know, 10 more years on on either end, right? So much longer on it. Mm -hmm. Or you had six months, right? Like, I mean, if it was both extremes, I think my answer would be changed. But the fact that it's okay, it's kind of this perfect medium. To your point, Jade, it is about intentionality, not intensity. And here's my belief too. I really think your income in the next five years is going to go up. Mm -hmm. And so I think you're going to be able to get that piece of paying off the mortgage faster than you even think as you stretch out this five-year time frame. Um, That's a good point. And even now, like your ratio of income to how much is left on the mortgage is so... Yes. Like it's very healthy. So yeah. Yep. Um, So yeah, y'all, I would, I would build a patio. (laughs) Well, yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised. (laughs) Do your happy dance, uh, Mark. Do your dance. I'm I'm happy, but I, you know, I can see both sides of the coin as well too, that, uh, you know, for as hard as we work, um, you know, that could save us two years of the hard labor in order to pay the house off faster to have that, you know, the peace of mind for it. But, uh, I can also get a little bit of peace of mind while I'm kicked up uh, enjoying a sunset. I know that's uh, right. Beer too. Mark, you're a good man. You did not do the touchdown dance that I thought you were going to do. <laughs> I know. That's funny. So you both thought we would say get out of debt because I guess that's what we're known yes. for, right? Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. Yes, but I think that's really good that all of our hard work that has gotten us to this point yeah. has led us to this fork in the road. And it sounds like we can do either because of our hard work and because of our sacrifices. And That's right. Our intentionality. And you so know, it's funny. I'm actually smiling. Very right. smiling. I can see it. I can hear it in your voice. And you know, it's funny. Sometimes when you want something like Mark on his side, and then you actually like, we kind of opened the door of like, you can, then sometimes you kind of second guess. That's and you're right. like, do I really want it? Or was it more <laughs> just this like, kind of intensity of, you know, wanting something I can't have or feel like I can't. I feel like this story is not over. (laughs) And Mark and Samantha, let me add this note. If there were other personalities sitting in this chair, they may have given you other answers. That is a fact. I think Deloney would have said pay it off the house. Deloney would have. What do you think about George? George George? probably would have said pay off the house. They need to live a little, those guys. Ken would say build the patio. Yeah, Ken would say build the patio. But I think George and Deloney would say pay off the house. They would. So you may have called on the wrong day, Samantha. I'm so sorry. (laughs) That's a good point. You may have to call back then. I know, you should. You should. Do the exact same question and see what they say. That Um, is awesome. You guys are troopers. Thanks so much. And y'all enjoy it. And and, Take a picture uh, and show it to us when it's done. I was going to say, yeah. Tag us on social when it's done, and we want we want to see. We can right. do that. Yeah, so thank great. You. Thank, thank you guys. You. Yep. But I mean, you know, either way, you're not going to go wrong. No, they can't go wrong. In That's five years, so good. you're either gonna you're gonna have a patio and a paid for house. It's just which one mm-hmm. is first. And again, you guys, when you get to that point of four, five, and six. There, that's when you replace the furniture. That's when you can yeah. replace the car. That's when you can do some renovations, you know. A lot of there. people go straight through though, Rachel. It's like they feel that momentum of paying off debt. Yeah, and, and it's not wrong. It's we not just don't wrong. want you to burn out, right? Because there is a part of living life. And and Mark, I'll say this too. And Samantha, I'll, you can you can quote me on this. Don't go over budget. Because whenever you're doing stuff around the house, Jade, it is the thing that just creeps. It's like, well, this stone mm-hmm. is great. But if you get this stone it's just a little bit more but it's great and then the kitchen appliances i mean you can really get in the spiral where you go down real quick that is true and in two hole. years time you might find that there's more things that you want yeah, that's true <laughs> i know i know just pay cash yep just pay cash with it create your free every dollar budget today the simplest way to budget for your life